here when you first turn on this gps this is this is what you're gonna see so you're gonna see this so this is your um chapter so i have chapter one this is um the size tractor trailer i haul right so it's 13 by 6 in <laughs> Welcome to another video on my channel. So today I'll be doing a review on the OTR 700, right? So far this GPS, it has never failed me before. I've never, it never brought me under a low bridge. Never, right? And it has never brought me on the wrong road, right? So I'm going to tell you the advantage and disadvantage of this GPS, right? So I'm going to start with the good part, right? So... All right, so here you can save um, your addresses here. You can save some address, addresses. And here is your recent address, so you don't have to type in back um, where you've been before, right? And truck stop locations, you show you all the truck stops. So if you're doing OTR, regional or local, and you wanna find a truck stop, I'm gonna show you something, right? So say for instance, we're going to PNCT. So we click go. So. Please drive to highlighted route. 31 minutes from my location. 21 miles, right? Okay. Route 24, I-78. All right, so here. Construction was reported on I-78. Okay, you tell you everything. Hop ahead. You wanna find um, a truck station, a truck stop up ahead. Okay, you wanna stop, so. I just click up ahead. Um, I'm gonna wait for it to load up. Chuck stops. I guess it's loading. Let me see. All right, let me try again. Up ahead. So basically on that route, there's no truck stop on that route. But say for instance, um, I was going to, um, to say for instance, I was going to um, PA, right? Please drive to highlighted route. Okay. All right. So that's four hours, seven minutes. And I want to find a truck, some a truck stop to stop and do something. So here we have the weight station in 51 miles, right? Pilot and other rest areas, right? So I guess the 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 location that I put in before there was no truck stop on route. That's why it didn't came up. All right, so that's one of the cool features, right? and it show you full fuel prices if you're gonna stop and get fuel all the stations here and so here recent address book so if you save your addresses here right are here sorry this is where you're gonna put in your address so if you're gonna put in three five four and then you put in the street and then you find a location right and one more of the cool feature about this, there is a, there is an app for it, right? So there's a Garmin app where you're gonna scan the barcode on the back of your GPS and then it's gonna bring you to the app store where you can purchase, um, not purchase, where you can download the, the app. So you're gonna pair the app with your Garmin and they're gonna work together. So you do not have to put in the address you do not have to put in the address here you do not have to put in the address here you can put in the address on your phone like the day before and whenever you you appeared here whenever you appeared automatically with the gps then it's gonna send it to 
the GPS, your location. So, say for instance, you, you're, at, you're at your house and your, um, your work, your job, they send you an address where you're going to go tomorrow or you know where you're going tomorrow and you put it in the app. Tomorrow when you turn this GPS on, it will automatically send the address to this GPS and it will load right away without you have to do nothing so that's a good part that's a good feature that's a cool feature so uh let me see what else i'm going to talk about so here my iphone is connected calls don't come in on this gps um i disable that but if i'm playing music through my bluetooth box all the songs gonna come up on my screens but you can let your notifications pop up on your gps while you're driving so you don't get distracted and take up your phone you know that's dangerous while you're driving right this is connected to my wi-fi at my house so whenever there's an update it comes to my phone on the app and then i take this down and update it at home right I mean there's frequent updates like every week or so all right uh, let me see what else I'm gonna show you guys about this GPS right now um, here when you first turn on this GPS this is this is what you're gonna see so you're gonna see this so this is your um, chapter so I have chapter one this is um the size tractor trailer I haul right so it's 13 by 6 in height right and 8 by 6 in width and the length is 65 right so this is where you're gonna take the box if you're carrying explosives explosives compressed gas flammable liquids so if you're if you're all in hazmat I'm um I have my asthma but I have not all um, any form of hazardous material as yet but I know I'll be doing that soon so this is where you're gonna put whatever you are all in right so right now I'm not all in no hazardous material so I put none okay so just in case here that's where you're gonna put that and it will automatically take you to the route that you're supposed to take so I have two, two, two um, settings here. So here is for my bobtail, right? Um, 18,000 pound max, just for the bobtail alone. Tractor trailer, 80,000 pound max. So my GP is gonna take me on that route, specific route. So you can also add something as you can add a bus, straight truck, tractor, yeah? Okay, and then it will allow you to put in the settings. So say for instance you're gonna put in something else, right? So this is where you're gonna put um select your trailer configuration and we'll take it to the settings. If you wanna do that, which I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh let me see what else I'm gonna show you guys. Uh address. Some of these are not really important. I just take you through through the most important stuff. <laughs>